back up in the northern chaos waste. Uh, let's do some destruction. We have basically this is Blood Mountain is undefended. There will be no no there there is a garrison there. Yeah, so it's a level one settlement. So we should be able to blow that up and then make it down to the Palace of Princes. I think. And then, again, we're going to leave Sigvald alone. Um, but we are going to generate some... We are going to generate a Blood Host here. Because we're going to ruin Dwell this with the Blood Host. Because Sigvald has a tendency to uh, soak up your territory. So we need to be somewhat careful about our territory so that we can actually get it instead of it being taken from us. So what we're going to do is move to here. And then we'll blow this up. Um, before we do that, let's make sure that they're not allied with Sigvald. They are not. They only have a trade agreement. They're not at war with anybody. So we can go ahead and do this. Declare war. Clan Morris joins us. We can easily auto-resolve that one with uh, one casualty. We're going to get some skulls. And that did not give us enough to get there, unfortunately. Which sucks. That's okay. We'll just, um... We'll, we'll get in there. That one's almost ready. And I would raise another lord back home and go do stuff down there. But I think that probably the best expenditure right now of is to keep that because we're going to need the padding for the blood host that we're about to raise. So um, I think that we're probably good. Outpost upgrade. Might as well do that. I don't. I'm a pirate. Of course. We might as well not have them screwing with us. We definitely don't want peace with them. <laughs> Let's move on. And we'll continue uh, for the next turn into this episode. All right, so check it out. Back home in the Badlands, uh, we are being threatened here. And I think the best thing that we can do is to... First, sell Queek the Ruin Dwelled region that we just got. So we'll sell that to him. So now he'll be interested in that other piece of property. And in, for exchange, we'll take back the one that we just got. And we'll charge him two grand on top of it. So now he can have that and get attacked, not us. Quick. And then this other piece of ground that we're not going to develop right here. Uh, we're going to sell that to the vamps. Do you guys want some territory? Mortals. How about that? And if we do worse, that, I that's kind of pricey. Or death. We'll visit thee. Yeah, let's not do that. And we'll just do this. So we want to we want to keep this region, but it's not necessary that we keep this region. Because now we're clear across the map. So this is the only one that we actually care about, and we care about it because it has this building that gets us extra money and the blood shield uh, for uh, the Blood Shrine of Corn units. So, it's not really that big of a deal if we lose it, but it is our most advanced settlement right now. Uh, 
Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Um, we should maybe be able to reach that. That is going to be the fetid catacombs, I think. So let's blow this up and easily auto-resolve this. Let's go ahead and move this to one of these guys. So blow this up, and we're going to raise the blood host, as we mentioned, and that will allow us to ruin dwell this um, next turn uh, because now we're going to have to fight Malice soon. And then Scarbrand should be able to get down here and blow this up. And to be honest... We're not currently at war with Malice. So even though this is close victory, I still think that we ought to resolve this and just kind of take the damage. Yeah. We take the damage, we sack this, and instead of blowing it up, we occupy it, replenish our troops, and then next turn, we should be able to... Um, We should be able to reach that next turn. We'll see what happens. But if that that is Malice, if we can't reach it with Scarbrand, then we'll be able to reach it with this guy for sure. I still think that we'll be able to reach it with Scarbrand, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So we're going to get this... And now that we've gotten that, we're going to start running down this. Um, we're going to have to uh, we'll get that because we are going to go up against Dark Elves and they'll probably have they'll be, be able to porcupine us pretty easy. This guy will get the uh, greater grade corn and then continue to move down this line. Karanak. Uh, gore feast for Karanak. Let's get um, perfect vigor and that. All right. We should probably also spend a little bit of time next episode on. Yeah, next episode we're going to spend some time reorganizing our um, our items. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. And I think that we're good. How much? We have 33. What is the recruitment? Do we have Plague Claw Catapults yet? I do not see Plague Claw Catapults in the list. I will totally trade a damaged bloodletter for a Plague Claw Catapult. But I don't see any. So we'll just we'll just hold that for now. Next episode.